All right, so I want to get adventurous um, research about the numbers slides, but I'm going to see where it's at. So this is mostly about the Gator Eye, which is a joint effort between myself and Dr. Evan Balvin, both of us at University of Florida. This is one of our flight platforms that we're using right now, but the sensors we can also be mounted on a fixed um, wing plane. So we have two main sensors that we're using on top of their regular um, RGB. So we have LiDAR and we have hyperspectral. And so these are just the specs of what we're using. And if you want to see more specs, this is also going to be available for everyone later, okay? Okay, so it's just not going to go over the specs. So pretty much what we're excited about is that we can get with the LiDAR um, the forest floor as well as the top of the canopy so we can actually look into the actual um, size of the trees and our very detailed information and the structure of the forest. We're using it um, in the Amazon as well as um, different places in Florida and, our, and Central America as well. Um, with the hyperspectral, as it has been mentioned before, we can look at all sorts of different things, okay? So, um, okay, I'm going backwards. So ideally what we are doing or in the process of uh, perfecting is being able to uh, fusion our hyperspectral data with our radar data from this uh, particular sensor. We did it before when we were working uh, with Greg Asner at Stanford uh, with the TAO. So this is an image of what was done with the TAO um, for a forest in Hawaii. So, sorry. So the, the main purpose for us, and we're applying this in different ways, is um, how many more time? Okay. So what we're trying to do is um, linking upwards. So we are flying on places that already have airborne lidar, for example. Then we also have access to planet imagery. So we're trying to link all these upwards uh, for places that have permanent flaws, have lidar, and that we have access to planet imagery. And at the same time, we're also trying to link downwards. So we're establishing um, camera traps, um, as well as soundscapes and other things and permanent plots so we can go up and down. And that's uh, very challenging and hard to find. <laughs> but uh, this is our first year that we're actually flying these sensors. And we expect that in the next two years, we're actually gonna have to update them for the next year. So, thank you. 